together Let's call it in the crossfire Let's call it in the crossfire what is up guys it's been a while <clears throat> um so um my last video i used that black silicone to silicone all the edges and everything um i did this in that black silicone and it started to bubble out pretty bad so i tore it all off and redid the fiberglass work as you can see this is all new i just did this yesterday I gotta finish it up there that little corner right there that corner that corner even though I don't have to do that but I'm gonna do it anyways all the way down and then I have this strip over here to do and of course you know that strip over there and that strip right there I took all the black silicone off it wasn't uh, good silicone to use but this silicone the black silicone on this is fine because I already fiberglassed that and then siliconed it so that's fine so I went ahead and got me some clear silicone because this works ten times better and it dries up faster and it works the black doesn't really do all that great. It doesn't dry up fast enough. It takes days for it to dry. I mean, I did that, what, I think last week, and I can probably peel some of this off right now. See? See how I'm peeling that off? Because the black isn't really, really great silicone to use. That's the reason why I said 100% silicone clear would be better for you guys to use if you've if anybody's out there to look to put an aquarium together or building something like this. I tried doing a video of me ripping off all the black silicone and doing this and sanding everything down but I'm using my phone and my phone can only hold so much and I ended up deleting it so sorry guys I didn't get to see all that going on. Um, also and other news um, I did, however, take down my big tank. My 165 gallon tank is no longer standing. So, as you can see, I moved my shelf with all my fish aquarium stuff, all my plumbing and everything I'm going to need for this big tank to put together. And there it is. Um, my 75 is still sitting there. I just got all my big iridescent sharks in there. Got the rest of my sharks, goldfish, angelfish, all them others in a 55 gallon. And then the fish that was in that 75 gallon are in a 45 gallon tank underneath my TV. That's my wife's platies and guppies. But uh, I got this system running off of just a canister filter. It pumps the water in and then it goes through the PVC piping up back around into the 55 and then back into that blue hose back around back into the canister filter very easy to set up I mean very easy to set up so so they're gonna sit there for a while until I can get this done but uh, this is the big tank right here as you can see six feet tall two feet wide I took this down a couple of days ago I just got to clean up the glass get it all set up and ready so I can go ahead and put it in here now one of these panels do have to get cut down to about four and a half feet maybe five feet um, because I only built this tank to only be five feet so this is the trimming for the lids this is the actual height of the tank right here all the way down actually technically this would be the height of the tank I'm sorry this would be the height of the tank all the way down so this is only five feet but up to here it's like five and something I don't know but it's a hundred and ten inches long and it's three and a half feet wide so it's a big tank and it's about a little bit over I would say 800 gallons of water right there just for that tank and then of course the sub tank will be close to about 300 gallons so I'm looking closely close to a thousand gallons of water right here so 
but anyways guys, um, let's just go ahead and get on to it. Um, today I'm going to finish up all my fiberglass for, for good. So let's go ahead and start on all that, shall we? You're my 
What's up guys? So right now I'm working on the subfloor for my sub tank. Um, as you can see I already cut out the notches and everything so the board can slide in. 
Now I'm going to be screwing it down. And I got another one right here. Sorry about the mess. If you guys see a mess, it's been very, very hectic down here. Um, as you can see, all that's done. That one's done. All of this is done. All of that's done. All of that is done. Um, the only two areas I got left, this is done too. Um, I just got this one to do. And this one. And I will be done with my fiberglass. And then I can go back in with my clear silicone. Silicone, you know, the edges just inside the tank. Extra extra protection, you know. And then uh, go back in with my pond shield, start painting it. And then go back in again and sand down the lip area on where the glass is going to sit. So that way the silicone has something to, you know, be rough up against. So, same as up there. So right now, I'm taking a break from the fumes. It's, it's uh, getting to me, so I'm going to take a moment on that. And uh, I went ahead and cut the floor out for my sub tank. Um, I didn't do a video on that. So, let's go ahead and screw down a couple of screws for now and then go ahead and get that one in there. So let's go ahead and get this done guys. So I got my subfloor in, um, everything's all ready to start, go ahead and build my wall back there and up against here and back over there, all four walls all the way around. Um, there will be a viewing panel right here too as well. Uh, the big tank has a bottom that's going to go right here, the bottom glass to the big tank will go right here so that way you can still look in and then back there I'm gonna leave a big old opening back there so that way I can still get in there and clean out my sub tank and everything uh, my storage room back there is actually gonna get cleaned out all that's gonna get pushed into the garage so that way I can go ahead and use that uh, little storage room I built back there for all my aquarium stuff and for me to get back there to mess with the sub tank so the sub floor is in I'm going to go ahead and start working on the walls and everything else, probably a little at a time. But as for right now, guys, I think this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for today. Um, yes, I will do a video on, you know, me doing the fiberglass work. Um, leave a comment or whatever and see if you guys are okay with, you know, watching me do all this. If you guys ain't, then I'll just, you know, do my shit, do a video, catch you guys up and be like, hey, this is done, you know. So I need some suggestions here. And that way I'm not, you know, making a video for every little thing I'm doing. Even though it's kind of good for me because then I can go back in and look at the video and see what I needed to do. Or if I missed anything or whatever, which is fine. But still, like I said, um, if you guys are okay with me just making my videos like I am right now, awesome. If you guys just want to just have a catch up with me not showing how I'm doing this, that's fine too. Just let me know. But other than that guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and get my last paintbrush out and finish up my seams over there and get it done. So let's go ahead and tackle that real fast.
two hours later. So here we go guys, um, all my fiberglass work is done. So now all I gotta do is order my pawn shield and get it all painted up on the inside and I'll be able to fill it up. I'm gonna probably douse this one more time and then down here. All oh, this is done. Like I said, all I gotta do now is just paint the inside to make sure all of it's all sealed up and all ready to go. And then put my windows in. That corner's done. So that's about it for today, guys. Um, other than that, I'm going to be having surgery here pretty soon, and this might be might be my last video on this tank for a while. So uh, please share, comment, subscribe, whatever. Other than that, peace out, guys.